In this video, I'm going to give you my review and opinion on the Aaron's 36 inch power brush. Now this is the manual power brush. They make a hydrostatic one that is quite a bit more expensive. These you can usually pick up pretty reasonable around $1,200, $1,500 used. Uh, to buy a new one, I believe they're right around $3,500. Now you might ask, why do you need one of these power brushes? Well, I would give you a couple reasons. If you don't have a snow blower and you don't have much yard equipment, you can dethatch your yard with this. Uh, you can push all the sticks in your yard into little windrows and rake them up easily. If you have a gravel driveway, uh, you pretty much can't use a snow blower on it. You'll be able to brush all the snow off your gravel driveway with this. You can brush all the snow off your blacktop driveway. In the summer, if you're going to seal coat your blacktop driveway and you want to get it clean, this thing will scrub your driveway nice and clean before you seal coat it. So there's all kinds of reasons why you might want this power brush. Now it's not called a snow brush, it's not called a grass brush, it's called a power brush because it's a very versatile piece of equipment. Now keep watching, I'm going to bring you in up close and I'm going to go over the features and convenience of this machine. So here's the front of the power brush. I'm going to bring the camera in real, real close so you can see uh, the brush. You can see that the brushes are kind of at angles and that helps for a sw full sweep. It's not a solid brush across there. But you can see over here there's a swivel wheel. Now you can move these wheels to either the front where I have them or to the back. It depends on what you're doing. If you're going to do yard work, I like to keep them up towards the front. Uh, if you're going to brush off a gravel driveway, you might want to keep them up towards the front, uh, but they will drag some snow. So you'll have to play around with the location of where you want the wheels depending on what you're going to do with them. So if you come around here to this side, I'll show you the other location of where you can put the wheel. It's going to go right in here. And that's going to put a little more down pressure on the brush. Like I said, if you're going to uh, take snow off of a blacktop driveway, i definitely put the wheels back here. It's going to work the best. And if you come up over here, this is the exhaust side of the motor. You can see the 16-inch all-terrain tires. Coming up over here to the controls. The one here on the left is going to control your uh, wheel speed. The one on the right is going to control the brush. Now, once this is running, well, when you're going to take off and start brushing, always engage the traction wheels first. If you engage the brush first, it's going to kick back at you. It's not going to be bad, but it's going to kick back and hit you in the stomach. If you come down here, you'll see this has the Subaru motor. Now this is a nine horse motor, and this is one of the premium motors. I believe the newer ones now have Briggs motors, which I think the Subaru is a little bit better. I've used both, the Subaru is quieter. It feels like it might have a little more power, and it will probably last longer than a Briggs motor. Absolutely nothing wrong with the Briggs, but if you're looking for used ones, I'd try and find one with the Subaru motor. Over here, you're going to have your uh, throttle, your choke, and your on-off for your fr fuel. Now if you come around over here to this side, this one does have electric start. All you got to do is plug it in, hit the start button, and it's going to fire right up. You also have your on-off kill switch right here. Now, I've never used the electric start. Well, actually, I've used it once. Uh, but this thing starts on one pull every time. Now, if you take a look underneath the handle, you have this grip right here. That's so you can rotate uh, the brush angle. Uh, you can go you know, left to right or put it in the center. You just squeeze this, lift up a little bit, and then you can pivot it. And I'll show you that in the demonstration. Now you do have quite a few speeds on how fast this is going to go, and it also has uh, two reverse gears. Now it does, it does go 
from fairly slow to fairly fast. And depending on what you're doing, you know, you're going to adjust your speed accordingly. Now one nice thing is it does have a headlight. So if you're going to clear your driveway, you know, at five in the morning before work, uh, this is going to light up a nice clear path for you. And if you come over here, this is the fuel tank. It does hold quite a bit of fuel. It will run a surprisingly long time on a tank of fuel. Down here you got your oil level dipstick, oil drain, and that's about all for the features and functions of the Aaron's power brush. I'm going to show you how to fire it up, I'll show you how quiet it is, and then we'll move some snow. So here's how you're going to start your power brush. Right here is your on off kill switch, turn that to on. Right here is your throttle. I set that to about half. Make sure your fuel is open. And choke will go to the left for full choke. There's really no half choke. It's really full choke and off. So full choke. Come over here. If you want to use the electric start, hey, go right ahead. Uh, I can start it faster than dragging an electric cord out. We'll see if maybe it starts on the first pull. You just shut your choke off. Now that's all the way down to low idle. So I've got a decibel meter here. about six inches away from the exhaust. 84 decibels. That's how quiet this thing is. Let's go, we're about three feet away. You can see right there. This thing's only at 70 decibels, about three feet away. I told you guys, this is a super quiet motor. So that's how you start up your Aaron's power brush. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to shut it off. You got to close your fuel. Flip your switch to off. And that's it. Your fuel shut off. Your kill switch is off. It's set to store for as long as you need to store it for. And that's your start up and shut off procedure. Now, we got about six and a half inches of snow here. Uh, there's an icy crust on top of the gravel. So it's not going to clear it down totally level. Uh, this is probably worst case scenario of cleaning off your snow. You got about an inch of icy crust on top of some gravel. I've got the wheels up front so it doesn't spit out gravel all over the place. I'm going to fire it up and I'm going to show you how you, you're pushing snow you're not blowing it. If you have a wide driveway, you're going to want to start in the middle and angle it to the right and then angle to the left. You probably will not push any more than about 10-12 inches of snow with this. So if you start on one side and go all the way over, it's not going to be moving your snow because it's going to be piled up too high. shed way out in the back of your yard and your snowblower is going to just tear up your grass as it goes out there. You can put the wheels on the front of this and push the snow out of your way and not harm your grass. So here's a demo of doing that.
So if you take a look at the grass, I mean, it's it turned up a little bit of grass. You can probably see it that it was going a little better than me, but it's probably mostly just thatch. And you can make a trail, you know, out to a back shed or out to a back garage. And you're just gonna have the wheels on the front uh, to make sure the brush does not go too deep. So that's one cool thing that this power brush will do versus a snowblower. Now you can see what I mean by how it gets right down to the blacktop. And you can hear under my feet, it's a very icy, crunchy snow. And there's probably, there's a, at least a good half to three quarters of an inch of ice underneath all this snow. But it will scrape your driveway right down to the blacktop. No scrape marks or anything like that. And then in the next couple of videos, I'll show you how to dethatch your yard. I'll show you how to do a couple other things with this versatile machine. And I thank you for watching the video. Well, that's going to conclude this video on the Aaron's 36 inch power brush. As far as snow removal goes, it does a great job going across your yard, going across your driveway. And in the spring, when the snow is finally melted and them snow plows have pushed all that gravel into your yard, just angle it right out back into the road and you don't have to rake. You'll be done in five minutes. Well, thanks for watching.